Okay, bee lovers, we're back again. We're gonna look at this little nuke here. I'm gonna see if it's worthy to be put to tin so they can build up during the, the flow that's coming up. I'll feed them until until then, should they need the feed. And it was propolized down. Man, oh man. We do have a bunch of bees in here. I don't know how productive this queen is, but she's got some to work with here. That's for sure. Oh, I got a broke frame. I remember this from a time or two ago. As I was putting it in, I noticed it was broke. But at the time, wasn't much I could do with it. It just broke. It's still giving me fits getting it out of the box. There we go, I've got that end out. Let's try for this one. There's just not enough in that broke frame to worry about. I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna tell you that. This has got honey and nectar, and a lot of honey on this side. You know, I was feeding these these uh, bees. Uh, for a, a while after we put them in this box I had to go get some bees because I didn't have uh, any bees for a queen I had so I went and got some and she started laying right away but it's obvious to me that she's not around anymore so what I'm going to do I'm going to combine these with this hive right here, right next to us. I'm going to combine them and uh, give this this hive what what bees I've got in this box and retire the box essentially. And at the Beatles. There's a lot caught up in the Swiffer, but there's a lot of them walking across that's still alive. up a box while I was around there that I'm going to use to to join these two together. Uh, boy, that sucker is propolis. Uh, put that over there.
you know. There's hardly any beetles in here, and there's practically there's single digits probably of, of beetles on these uh, Swiffer pads. That tells me that that the traps right here. I think that's called the beetle buster. I'm not sure, but they were new and they've got beetles in them, so that's where most of them have been have been trapped at. Now, what I want to do is see what we've got here in this hive as far as resources go. And I don't expect it to be very much, to tell you the truth. I don't expect it to be very much. Nothing whatsoever done on that frame. Nothing at all. Nor this next one. Good amount too. Probably two thirds of that drone. Still not a hole up there. Here we go, we got the brood, capped and uncapped, not a whole lot, but there's some. Boy, you can tell where the brood chamber's at over there. A little spotty, but there's a lot of it. Turn this thing around where, where the one with the most brood is toward the, the nest. Oh yeah, pretty good pattern here. Capped and uncapped. Very good pattern here. Capped and uncapped. So again, capped and uncapped and pollen. Same there. Still got honey here.
I'm putting these frames in here to take up space until until we join these together. Then uh, they won't be needed. I'll pull them out and put some of those frames in there from the from the nook. So let me get my paper. Some people use newspaper. I've used newspaper. Also paper towels. So we're going to put a paper towel on here. Just like that. Then we're going to set the upper box on here. Just like this. That'll do that. Now, Now we're going to put the frames with the bees and the resources right in here. I'm going to Cut a couple of holes in there, little slots, to help them get acquainted. Then I'm going to make a donation of bees to this hive. Well, bee lovers, that's it for the uh, setup of the combining the two hives. Now I gotta get my stuff together here, and we'll go, we'll go to the flow hive and see what's going on. Well, Hop folks, bee. I guess you didn't get to see a whole lot of that uh, that flow hive because somehow or other I neglected to turn the camera around. So all you saw was uh, over in the garden where all the shrubs and 
trees are at. So I'll just tell you, the hive is very protective. It's full of brood, it's full of bees. And uh, out, of, out of all of them I was in today, it's the only one that stung me. I actually had a bee go down between my glove and my shirt, get me on the arm. But that's just the way it is. This, this hive has a lot, of, a lot of reserves in it. It's better in better shape than uh, any of the other four. I've got two more over at my daughter's house I gotta check, but uh, they're just in good shape. That's all I can say, just in good shape. So as a result, and by the way, that is a 2020 queen in there. That's original queen that made it through the winter. All the other ones I have are 2021 20, queens. But that 2020 showing them all up, I mean, she's laying, got plenty of, of uh, stores built up in that hive. But I still put a feeder on there and I'm gonna feed them. It's just that simple. I can't afford to let them uh, go to the winter with uh, all of their reserves consumed. So I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna take a break for a while, cool off a little bit. Then I'm gonna go over and check the two hives at my daughter's house and see what they're up to and fill up the feeder over there. And as usual, I want you to, uh, if you like our, our uh, videos, go down and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You subscribing will allow me more time uh, on YouTube where I can put longer videos and I would appreciate that. So subscribe and give me a thumbs up that you enjoyed it and share the video with your friends. Uh, you may have some friends out there that you don't know that that likes bees, so do that for me. And until then, this is Papa B saying, be careful. <laughs>